My Omicron variant patient long COVID symptoms is what you've been asking about. We're going to get to that. Hi, my name is Gail. I'm a COVID Omicron long haul patient and welcome to my channel. There are a ton of names for this long COVID, post COVID syndrome, long hauler, post COVID-19 syndrome, chronic COVID condition, post acute syndrome. It just means that you've had symptoms that have lasted for 30 days or more. My symptoms have been mild compared to some. If you want to know what my acute Omicron symptoms were, check out the circle up in the corner and I'm going to link my COVID playlist down below in the description box. Do check that out and don't hesitate to give me a like on the video. You don't have to have really severe COVID to develop long COVID. And mine was kind of out there. I was told today that it was considered serious, not hospitalized, but I was under the virtual hospital, safer at home. And I have a video on maxing out the days of virtual hospital also in my health playlist. Also, I had the Omicron variant, not the Delta variant. And the Omicron is supposed to be less dangerous, but, and can cause some pretty big problems as I'm sharing with you. Now, one thing that you need to know is a long hauler, like I don't have coronavirus still running through my body to be contagious with and give it to you. It's just that I'm dealing with the after effects um, that the coronavirus, the COVID has left in my body. <coughs> Excuse me, the cough being one of them. So there's several after effects that I'm dealing with. And my post COVID symptoms, my post COVID-19 systems symptoms, whatever you want to call it, include a cough that I don't seem to be able to get rid of. I also get short of breath sometimes. If you've seen some of my live streams, you have probably noticed that at times I am standing there and I am just kind of running out of air. And you will probably notice several edits in this video about my COVID long haul symptoms where I have had to stop and cough for a while or get something to drink or just breathe just to get through making this video for you. So if you see some odd cuts, I apologize in advance for those. And I have headaches and it's going to be interesting to see because we've recently found out that my vision has changed since having COVID. And the big question is, are the headaches going with my glasses issue? I wasn't having problems editing videos and seeing the screen and reading books and things prior to COVID. But after that, once I got feeling better and was kind of out of the acute stage, I noticed that my computer screen was fuzzy, that I was having problems reading and so forth. My eyes were getting really tired and I was having trouble making jewelry for my service dog fundraiser because I just couldn't see as well. So I thought that was probably just because I was still sick and having problems and my O2 sat, it was during that period where I was on oxygen and the sat would go down. So I was blaming it on all of these different things. But then after I started getting better and came off of the oxygen and stuff, I was still having problems seeing. So I went to the eye doctor and sure enough, um, my vision has changed and I'm having to get new glasses. I'm hoping will help my headaches. COVID brain fog is another problem that I have. I guess the best way to explain it is if you've ever been in a swimming pool and you've been in a swimming pool for a while and you get out and your legs are stored, sort of slow to walk, um, your legs may shake and you may just have problems walking for a few seconds or a minute when you first get out of the swimming pool. So for me, COVID brain fog is a lot like that, except dealing with my brain and I can't even think a straight line and you can feel it. Like I can feel my brain just kind of slowing down and it may only last a few minutes or it may last several times a day or it may last all day. It's like you're in this fog 
and you're thinking and it's just not working. Another COVID symptom that I'm having is fatigue. And when I'm more tired, I'm also more likely to have the brain fog issues, which is why you're gonna see so many edits in the video also, and I'm sorry. But the fatigue is a real problem to deal with. And I'm still get out of breath. I'll do a video and you guys will notice I just run out of air and that happens sometimes. Two other symptoms that I have are joint pain and a fast heart rate. And so like with the joint pain, my hands just ache and it's just in the joints and they hurt. My knees, my shoulders, my elbows, my feet, oh my gosh, my toes, big time. It just, it just hurts and I never had any problems like that before. I have a really fast heartbeat sometimes. When I'm saying really fast, as my heart's beating 120 beats a minute or faster, all of a sudden, without war warning, whether I'm sitting and sometimes I'm awakened in the middle of the night with a super fast heartbeat, and it's really strange. And if you're one of the COVID long haulers or you know one and you have any of these symptoms or know somebody who does, drop that in the comments, okay? Now, I know you all are thinking, okay, you've got all these things going on and some days are better than others, but how do you treat it? What do you do for long COVID? One of the things is to do breathing exercises. The home health, the occupational therapist, show me how to do some things about coordinating my breathing with certain movements, taking stretch bands and pulling on those to coordinate my breathing. The other thing that they had me do to get ready to walk is walking in place while holding on to a chair or holding on to the back of my wheelchair. And the rest of it is good nutrition, which you need to do anyway, and taking the vitamins. I'm still taking the vitamin B complex, the D, the C that they recommend, the zinc, virtual hospital and home health, and my doctors all recommended that. But otherwise, you're just treating the symptoms. On days that you hurt, you're taking a leave or some kind of medicine like that or Tylenol, whatever you usually would take. If you're coughing using your inhaler or taking cough medicine or a cough drop, it's just all about managing the symptoms. Watch your daily activity. If you're tired, rest. Don't get over fatigued. But that's what they've told me to do and those are my symptoms as a COVID long hauler and we're all different. So if you've got different symptoms or nobody knows somebody who has, drop them in the comments. And hey, thank you for following the journey. I've got a whole playlist about my COVID journey and make sure you give me a like on the video if you haven't already and do subscribe so you can get updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.